everyone, welcome to Home Made by Carmona. I'm Ursula Carmona, and today I'm showing you how to make a beautiful DIY custom headboard. Now this headboard is for my daughter's room, so I really wanted her to be a part of that design process. I wanted her to be able to pick out the style, the colors, the patterns, and with the help of Spoonflower, we were able to do just that. To make your own, you're gonna need some foam, plywood, paper, fabric, tacks, and tools. Either shop a beautiful existing design on Spoonflower, or you can upload your own design. To build the headboard is really quite easy. Start with a roll of craft paper, the length of the size you want your headboard folded in half. Sketch out your desired curvature for your headboard and go ahead and cut out that piece. What you'll have is your template. Open it up place it on a large piece of plywood this to the size that you would like your headboard to be and tape that in place with some painter's tape. Next you're going to just go ahead and trace that design onto your plywood. Use a jigsaw to cut out the design. Now you might have to start at one end and bring it back around to a different end in order to get nice clean cuts. And then just go ahead and sand any rough edges. Legs are optional, but if you want some to help raise your headboard even higher, you'll just simply screw two two by fours equal distance from the edges and place one two by four across the center just as a support. Place your piece of foam under the top part of your headboard and cut it out to the shape that's there. Then you're gonna flip it over, place that piece of foam on the top part and another piece of foam to cover the next piece that's um, still showing. Then place your fabric across the top of the foam. Either you can use nail head strips or you can use individual tacks like I am. If you're gonna use individual nails, you're gonna to wanna to pre-drill holes. Or in this case, we're pre-hammering holes. This process is a little slower, but I think that the results are worth it. Using a spacer tool, I make sure that I get the holes an equal distance and then I'm able to place my nail heads right inside and finish hammering them the rest of the way. Now for this particular technique, there's a couple tricks and hacks I have for this. So be sure to visit the blog posts for more details. Now you can pull that fabric taut and use a stapler to help hold the fabric in place. Optionally, add a backing. And that's it. Now sit back and enjoy your handiwork. <laughs> for more details on this project and other projects, visit me on homemaybecarmona.com.